yeah, it's a lost cause for today. It's it's just too long. I need to go get it like trimmed. Um, what do we got? Weather, weather, narrator. I'm disconnecting from the Wi-Fi. It's dry. I already covered that with someone. <sighs> One of my regular viewers has a British accent, but I watch Anne on um, TikTok. She's a professional house cleaner. And back at, you know, the beginning of this month, she's outside, she was walking her dog Holly, and she goes, I really object to this. It's snowing. Oh, I object. Was, you know, and she's in England and stuff. So when he's like, when he said it was snowing today in Germany, I was like, I really object to this. It's snowing, like legitimately snowing. And I'm like, it is dry here, and there are kids in the skate park. All right. Ooh. The wind is BFT four, going to Iber. So that's a great bike ride too, and a terrible bike ride back. I could walk it and then tram back. Let's go outside and see what the weather vane says. Probably zip up my jacket. Mind, I need to go get a new one. <laughs> I didn't get one while I was at Decathlon. Okay, well. We're still in one piece, but the wind is going horizontally and I have buildings in the way. I have to get out to the ring. be that bad and yeah I know it'll probably be a pain in the butt on the way back but it probably says BFT4 it may be delayed it may have not updated quite it may be gusts averaging I don't know <laughs> but yeah Paul it's dry I mean we got clouds overhead but typically in my Pacific Northwest brain, you gotta have the mountain. The, the clouds gotta lose weight to get over mountains, and that means rain. So, without any mountains, it's really hard to rain. The chance of rain is drastically reduced, especially heavy rain. Yeah, I'm having I'm having a definite tailwind right now. Ta headwind. No. Like, you guys have heard the wind before. This is nothing on this camera. Oh, come on. Oh, ambulance coming. getting an echo <laughs> off the soundproofing. I was talking to Rogier last night about Rogier, about the uh, soundproofing. He says, yeah, it's actually really good. It's for quietness. I mean, I figured that. It probably also has an added benefit of like gravel being chucked off the road or something like that. Or jumpers, for instance. But anyways, yeah. He says it can go down to like it didn't say whether it reduced it to or by 30 decibels. I don't think it would be to 30 decibels. <laughs> oh, watch this vibrated at a 
one kilometer. So I got the thing, I got the login, searched around on their website, found which document it was. I had to do a little bit of searching myself because I had to read a bit of the Dutchy Latin. And I saw something that looked like, well, I looked at the word conclusion, uh, boven chowder. So I was like, okay, conclusion, upper shoulder. This is it, I downloaded the PDF and sent it to Cheyenne because, well, she's a registered nurse. So, I'm playing on Sunday on a lot of painkillers because it doesn't say that there is technically an injury. Something called just like tinnitus just needs painkillers and rest. So, it maybe I won't be practicing too terribly much specifically before a game. Like a Sunday, sure. But a Thursday before a game, probably not. Just to give it the necessary rest. He's like, who wants snacks? I'm like, bro, I literally got us like chocolate covered raisins, pink roasts, milk, and you have caramel sea salt covered chocolate peanuts. He's like, what's in my hair bow? I'm like, oh, fine, I'll get you kickers. And I, mean, I like apple ringing too. Yeah, I like kickers and apple ringing. But yeah, like we got chocolate covered raisins. We have pinto roasts, pintas, caramel sesa. What the hell, Aaron? Come on. I should get coffee while I'm here. I saw that I'm. I'll last until Monday because I have a whole half kilo. Um, but there's no there's no sale. I guess we're getting. Why is Perla so fucking expensive? Everything went up. Even Dalva Edwards is over seven. But coffee's getting up there. Maybe I should get some of that filter coffee. Oh, they don't have filter coffee here. That is like, it's Albert Hein filter coffee. It is so generic. I mean, at the rate this stuff is going, technically, Yumbo is cheaper. Where is the, there's no filter coffee. Cannot see it in this whole area. Okay, so Dalva Egbert's two by 500 is 13. So how much 13 13 per kilo? How much singular 1498 per kilo? Fuck. Fine. Fuck. Reminds me of the like spooky spooky drain in the bottom of the thing, but that's in the ceiling of the Albert Hine. I'm like, oh god, I'm gonna get sucked up. Okie dokie. Well I checked inside action and that was second. Just got out of action. Uh, and then I walked inside a... Uh, so I went from Albertheim to Atos to Action. And I haven't found any pill things. I don't know where you're supposed to buy them. We just ordered up Amazon. I am torn between ordering everything off Amazon because I know I can find it and going out into the real fucking world. <laughs> this is one of the real problems I had. By the way, it's this place. Save me the, the chocomel, basically, with... They steamed chocomel. Person walking down the bike lane. Fucking weird. But yeah, I gotta get the bike. I think I'm gonna toot a little longer way home since they put that thing through and it'll break a direct line and give me a bit more, you know, cardio. But I did get air in a power splitter. I forgot to get him at media marked when I went to go and, and all that jazz when I went up. He was like, oh, a power splitter. I'm like, sweet. Completely spaced it. Yeah, it's a freeway bridge right there. That's the marina part of whatever. That's my island right there. That's my neighborhood. <laughs> Doing his little 
best with his little legs. Okay, we got back. All right, we're back up at three. Going against wind, it's a pain in the butt. Also, why am I recording? It helps keep the shoulder at rest because my hello, boom, boom. Because my arm is at a 90 degree angle and it's holding still, but it's not pressed up against my side. So we get to see, kinda gimbal. I mean, to an extent, you, you can probably see how bad the bike's bouncing around. Eh, I'm bouncing around a lot too. It feels like it. I only find out tomorrow when I find out the camera's been bouncing around. Because <laughs> technically between my wrist, my elbow, and my shoulder, this thing has three points of shock absorb. Oh, I'm tempted just to go up to that bridge and zip on home, but I haven't done anything really this week. <laughs> Doesn't feel like it at least. <laughs> so, <sighs> Monday was a tiring day and who knows, maybe I did catch a little bit of what Aaron had but I was in between tests or something, I don't know. Oh, it's a river cruise boat. The Emily Bronte. Riviera Travel. It's probably heading down to Rotterdam and the Rhine. Oh. It may be going all the way into Germany. I don't know. Those aren't ocean going boats. So. It's definitely traveling down. That's why this is called the Amsterdam Rhine Canal. It's because it's a big canal that connects Amsterdam to the Rhine. Ah. Bumpy road.